Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to Stock Swiss Show Play of the Day. This is Pierre. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Golden Gap and Pierre. I did an ad in this, and I actually just took more. Uh, this is one of these ones where you can play it on through into the later period. Again, this doesn't happen all the time. I will say this. In fall, because of the busy trading season in fall, in fall and in earnings season, you can sometimes take these trades and hold them to bigger targets later in the day. That doesn't happen all the time. And if you want to get the move in the morning, get all out, that's perfectly fine. In reference to this, I had such a high level of conviction this today. I, I just had 100% conviction this today that I decided to hold this through to a bigger target, did an ad, and I actually even took more. Why? This is set up in a higher time frame now. And uh, I mean, this is going. It's almost triggering on this 30. Yeah, this is a nice gap here. Here it goes to figure out where this is actually going now. So the first target, well, the next target here is 1260, 1250, 1240, 1225, $12. $12 is a dream target on this today, and that would be insane. That would be a huge trade for me here today if this goes to $12. It's going to be a big trade no matter what, though, because I did all the ads. I'm telling you, doing ads, which is an advanced concept, actually can turn a, can turn a good trade a solid trade, a nice trade into a huge massive trade, all right? It is an advanced concept for advanced traders, but it certainly can turn something that is a regular day, a nice day, a good day into a massive day. And uh, I was kind of looking for that actually in the racks yesterday. And now here I'm in it, I'm in and out in this thing here too, too. And uh, I didn't do the, uh, this is actually, I didn't even do this one back in here. I did this one that just triggered on the 15 minute. So let's go over it. First of all, nice bearish move in the pier today. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful move. And it's good. Took an aggressive entry in here in the morning, got the drop. Rally back up. I did an add in here, got the drop. Okay. Rally back up. And... You know, you can you could have done an ad in here again. Time of the day here is not ideal. Time of the day is not ideal. I called it, and I with the right placement for the stop, uh, the, which it had to be at the at the original place for the second ad entry for the ad. But then this triggered here in the 15 minute right here under 90. Time of the day here in this is good. This is what I like really about this. I also love the April moving average squishing down on top of this. I love this. And actually, this is really a nice place to do an ad in here because you're not really uh, killing your price with it. I like to do ads where it's close to my price. That way, I'm not killing my price in the ad where I have to lower the stop so much that I may get taken out of it or um, that it gives back too much profit by actually lowering the price through by taking it underneath the price more. And to me, an ad is more like a confirmation, a confirmation and gives me conviction that the that the move is going to continue, that I'm going to get a continuation, a follow through of the stock to a bigger target. And that's what I'm looking for here in the pair. Low of the day in the pair is 1272 or thereabouts. Next target really was 1260, which it could have gotten to in the morning. But then when it had the bounce, didn't break in the low in the morning, two things could have happened. One, the trade could have been over. It was over for the morning, but not over for the day or two. But it could have been. It could have been over for the day. It could have been over for the day. And when you do an ad or take a second entry in here late, you have that possibility. But I did get out of some of the profit of half of it in the morning in the first drop. Kept through half. That was the right thing to do. Now, looking at this, this is a beautiful chart. Uh, what I liked about this was the overall weakness of the way that this played through in the morning. The fact that it didn't bounce off an exact number that I had de written down anywhere. If it had gotten straight down to a target, I probably may have gotten out of the whole thing in the morning. But actually, even if you got out of the whole thing in the morning, you could have retaken the whole thing up here, not that far from a very nice price. So you have to be patient when you trade on later trades. What do I mean by late? Any entry that you take after 10.30, 10.45, 11 a.m., you have to be patient with. You might be in the trade till 2 o'clock. You might be in the trade till 3 o'clock, 3.30. So if you have to go somewhere or have a rush, rush around or don't have the time to wait for the trade to follow through, you don't get quick, fast, hard movements in stocks in the entries that set up after 10 o'clock. You get the ones between 9.30 and 10 that set up fast and go to numbers, which I always do. I always do those. It's just sometimes I'm all out of them in the morning, and sometimes I see the potential to go to a bigger number. 
which I actually do for this here in the pier. This is not, this isn't doing anything wrong. It actually looks perfect on every single time frame here, specifically the 15 minute and the daily. 30 minute is triggered now. Uh, this has set itself up, set itself to go, and is good to go here. And this is going to be a fantastic day here. And what is shaping up to be a really, really good week and a very strong month. In fact, one of the traders got out of something early today. I don't remember which one it was, this or the other pick, uh, because he said he's had such a good month and he doesn't want to give anything back at all. <laughs> so, <laughs> but it's only September 18th. So uh, there's two more weeks left to go in the month. Anyways, nice Golden gap, bearish gap here in the pier. We will see where we go with this until the lunchtime period. Look, this is going, yay. All here has to do now is to get under 1280 and we're clear to go. Time of the day is good here to drop and break the low of the day to 12 o'clock. Love the pier. And a really nice call by me today in the Stocks for Show Live trading room. Again, pick the best thing to watch, pick the, pick the best stock to short. Had my top pick, I said this morning, 100% conviction. And uh, I'm not even going to look at anything else. And that's what I said. And when I don't even want to look at anything else, you know that it's good. So we'll follow this through, see where it goes. I am playing this sucker hard today, that's for sure. Good luck, everyone. Have a wonderful afternoon. We'll see where we go with the pier. You can be back into this if you were all out of it in the morning or you could have done any one of the ads. Beautiful, beautiful short in the pier. We'll see where it closes today and see where it goes. Nice week here in the Stock Swiss Show Live Trading Room. Nice month in the Stock Swiss Show Live Trading Room. Nice year in the Stock Swiss Show Live Trading Room. Anyone here with me all 2014? Hard to believe the year is over in the next four months. We're gonna get, be getting into the holidays, but we are gonna maximize our profitability here in the fall trading season to the hilt. And Pierre is a great example of this today. Have a wonderful afternoon, everyone. If you would like to sign up for the next Golden Gap class, it is September 27th and 28th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Again, if you want to trade this fall, if you want to learn a method to pick the right stock to trade every day, you can learn that from me. I teach it in the class, and I'm calling the trades every day in the room. Uh, to be consistently profitable, you have to find the right stock to pick to trade every day, and you've got to take it in the right direction. If you thought here was a long today, if you thought the stock was going to gap down and fill the gap and rally, if you thought it was a long today, you lost money. The stock is a short. It was a great golden gap. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you'd like more information. Thanks.